this is the VSOP series, this is Frappin. Let's taste it, shall we? Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop, I am Chris. Today is the latest in the series of VSOP. Hopefully you enjoyed the last one, which was about Courbusier. Um, today is about Frappin. Oh, or frapping. That's a bit awkward. So yeah, frapping today. Um, really looking forward to this. Obviously not the most well-known brand. I think I had heard of it before, um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, it just seems familiar. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck in, shall we? I'm gonna get every last drop. Okay, so going straight into the notes from Frappan themselves. Uh, I'm going to say it like that because I'm not going to continue saying Frappin all the way through this um, vlog or review. They are saying um, colour to start off with. Um, it's orange colour bears witness to its time ageing in limousine oak. And it's a very nice dark sort of deep colour, I quite like it. The bouquet uh, is fruity with orange and floral, uh, orange and floral with dried flowers. Um, discreet notes of vanilla are revealed apparently. So here we go. I'd consider that a lot more delicate than the Quavossio that we tried and a lot more delicate than the Martel and VSOP. It's a very nice smell. I like the uh, deep fruit there. Definitely getting the orange, uh, which is great. I mean, it's almost like um, they've each picked a fruit to highlight in their um, thing. So like Quavasia had the um, peaches, uh, which you could definitely get on the nose and in the palate. Um, so yeah, I'm really yeah, intrigued by this one as well. Yeah, getting a nice orange. It's really nice, lovely smell. Am I picking up the vanilla? No. Uh, so yeah, let's dive straight into the palette, shall we? Hmm. Well, that's nice. Uh, what are they saying? I was too eager then, wasn't I? Way too eager. Uh, very harmonious, uh, balanced with persistent flavours, uh, the orange notes again, uh, finish is spicy with notes of cinnamon and pepper. They say it's quintessential, it's the quintessential expression of the frappin style, frappin style, sorry, a cognac that can combine with anything at any time as an aperitif during a meal or after dinner. Well, it's after my dinner, so I'm going to enjoy it as that. Yep, you get the orange come through, that's a nice little note there. Again, it's the same raisiny, um, uh, grapey, you know, um, fruit um, as a cognac. But yeah, this is very nice. The subtle differences are definitely uh, leaping out, not leaping out, but I can definitely taste the difference between this and the Corbusier and the Martel which is really, really pleasing because I think that maybe people think that uh, all brandy or all cognac is the same uh, and there's maybe only like little nuances that you can taste but they are the three now that I've tried or and, and the VS um, they all are very distinctly different I think um, this one is actually very nice I could drink a hell of a lot of this. Mm. I like the orange. Uh, I, I like orange, so I like um, chocolate orange sweets and things like that, cherry chocolate orange or you know any 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 sort of orange flavoured um, confectionery. <laughs> so um, that's really really nice for me. Um, really worth worth checking out. I think um, Frappa VSOP. Very nice cognac indeed. Definitely understated. 
definitely on par with Class Cavassier and Martel. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Damn, I wish I had more. That was the last drop.